know what I have been eating? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back. If you don't know me, my name is Sasha. Um, it's been about a year that I haven't been on here and I'm so excited to be back. So today I am coming with a video that is near and dear to my heart, I believe so. Because, you know, sharing is caring. Why not have an information? Not be able to give the information if you're hoarding it all. Okay, so this video is all about vagine. It's going to be just a video all about vaginal hygiene, which I love talking about. I love talking about. Something that I always talk about with my friends and even family. My mom and sister get sick and tired of me talking about it. I'm super open about talking about my vagina because I mean, you know, sharing is caring and you need to talk about all the information that you learned. So that's why I am giving a video to you guys. Let's get right into the video. This first product is something that I found out about maybe four months ago and I'm so glad I did. It's something natural, which I love. Not putting a lot of chemicals in your body. Learn not to do that. It's not really healthy for your vagina. So this little bad boy, they're tea tree therapy suppositories. Okay, so suppositories either go up your butt or go in the other hole, which is the vagina. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. It goes up your vagina, okay? So these come with six suppositories and you insert them into your vagina um this is a remedy for not only yeast infections but bv i'm really prone to yeast infections just because my body um, produces an over active amount of yeast which is so annoying i've been dealing with it for i don't know how long and these really helped um I wanted to find something natural because I was tired of using Monistat. Monistat would always itch and burn, but something that is supposed to be working is not supposed to itch and burn and irritate you worse than you having a yeast infection. So I looked up online to see another remedy because I was so over feeling this way. I wasn't going to go back to the doctor to just get a, you know, the pill that if you go to your gynecologist, they'll give you a pill of Diflucan. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but it's called Diflucan. So it's up in three days, but what I don't like about that is just a mask for bigger problems. I got mine from Fresh Time, which I believe for six of them, they're around $13 there, but I do order them from Amazon now in bulk, and I believe you get two boxes of these for $13, which is great. So you're paying, just a little over a dollar for each suppository instead of like a little over two dollars. They put them in at night and I use a tampon right after I put it in because um, they pretty much, they actually um, melt pretty fast. Then something else that I love are these organic tampons. And I always use these if I'm using these, so I pair them both. But these organic tampons, I will never go back to regular tampons. These are organic cotton tampons by the L brand. They also do have pads that I use like toward the end of my period, but they don't have any chlorine or any other added chemicals that you find in the other tampons. And I think these were the first real organic tampons that are being sold in bulk. Um, I know that you can get these from Target. For 30 of them, it's $6.99, which is great um, to be organic tampons. And these actually feel better than regular tampons to me. I may be biased, but they feel better than regular tampons. So I only get regular, but they do come in super. And they just came out with some that is 15 super and 15 regular. I use the Cartwheel app. And right now, 15% off of any feminine products and I this is the next 
big thing that I love, love. These wipes, lifesavers, okay? So these are the Down There Wipes by Good Wipes. When I tell you I love Good Wipes, I carry Good Wipes in my purse, in my backpack. Whenever I go to the gym, they're in my gym bag. I love Good Wipes. Okay, so these are hypoallergenic wipes that you can use throughout the day and I love the marketing, how they're down there wipes. They do have body wipes um, as well, but these are separate for just for your vagina. So um, come in lavender and then they have a shea butter and cocoa and then a fresh scent. So, but I really like the lavender. Um, it's $15 for 30, but when you open the package, they're individual wipes, so it's not like the wipes that you have to take out that have the button, but they do have those as well. And I keep those in my gym bag, so it's so cute. It's like, this is how we roll. I love it. I know that they sell them in Walmart now and Target, I believe, and they have a website, of course. Um, another thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to vaginal health, you need to drink a ton of water. I drink water all the time. I have a glass water bottle that I take everywhere and it's like alkaline water as well. But I always tell people don't drink just alkaline water because um, too much of something is still bad even though it is meant for good. So I usually start out with like 30 ounces of alkaline water and then throughout the day, I'll mix it with like purified water. Another thing that I wanna talk about that is big is vaginal washes. I know there are so many vaginal, bleh, vaginal washes out there that are said to be hypoallergenic, gynecologist approved, but they can actually throw off your pH balance. And I know a lot of you girls probably know this, but stuff like this, like pH balanced, feminine wash you need to throw this away it's not it's not doing you any good yes it'll make you feel and smell a bit fresher but when it comes down to it you'll probably start feeling dry down there and it's just an adverse effect rather than you know helping you so I don't use feminine washes anymore and I know that sounds crazy. I haven't used feminine washes for like a year and a half now. Um, actually, your body is conditioned to cleaning yourself out, so I just use water, to be completely honest. Warm water and just, you know, washing down there, not scrubbing, but washing down there. Um, but for the ladies that are like, no, I cannot do that. I cannot just use water. This is the, this is the brand um, Little Journey, and this is an Aldi brand, but this is a comparable to Johnson & Johnson baby wash, and I actually use it when I really need it, which may be once a week, or like when I'm on my cycle, I use it because I'm like, okay, I need to use something a little bit more powerful, and it's really gentle, and I use that, so that's something that is awesome. Next product I'm gonna talk about is, they're actually two products, but they're pretty much the same thing. Um, I, wax probably every month these help a lot it's pretty much exfoliating so i talked to my friend that's a really that she's a really talented esthetician and massage therapist and she has been teaching me a lot of the things that i know and she told me to get you know a light exfoliant to exfoliate the outside of my you know, vagina, like where the pubic hair grows. I got this from TJ Maxx a while ago. And if you can see, I haven't even used half of it. And this ran me like eight bucks. When I get waxes, I want the hair to come up really easy and not get ingrown hairs. And this really helps for ingrown hairs. Help me not get ingrown hairs as much. I use these. 
They are the tea tree pads from, um, I was about to say TJ Maxx, Trader Joe's. I love TJ Maxx too, it's crazy. Love Trader Joe's too. 50 pads come in these and they are cleansing pads. You can use these for your face and for, I use them for my vagina to make sure everything, my pores are clear, all those, all the dirt is out of there. Um, so it helps a lot. What else? If I have any more. Drinking water. Down there wipes. Scanning tampons. Oh yes, okay. Last one. See this bad boy? Okay, this is apple cider vinegar with mother. So I use this probably once a week, maybe after I took my suppositories and this on a cotton round with some water. I always dilute it because it can actually burn down there. So I use this, but don't use any other apple cider vinegar other than um, organic apple cider vinegar with mother. And I obviously put it on a cotton pad, put water on it, and then wipe down there, just in between, like my, like the lips, and um, down be, down by the opening. And it actually just keeps me fresh, and it allows you not to have, um, I guess you would say, like more of a stronger odor. I was gonna say pungent, but that sounds like your vagina stinks all the time and i'm not saying that but it allows you i'm still weak about that i was really about to say punch it okay wearing underwear you're gonna want to wear cotton panties right i love that victoria's secret and um pink are actually making all cotton panties now which is a huge help when it comes to vaginal health if you can see i don't want to stretch them out too much but when you stretch them out, you can see those tiny holes. It allows your vagina to breathe, which is what you want for airflow to come in your vagina. I actually keep a pair of underwear with me wherever I go. So obviously when I go to the gym, after I work out, I change my underwear and I change my pants. Um, I keep them in my purse in like a little um, Ziploc baggie. Keeping panties with you helps, like you can have an accident anywhere. Like not saying you're gonna pee in your pants, but if it just gets a little bit moist down there, you're gonna wanna change your underwear because where moisture is, that's where bacteria grows. So yeah, cotton panties. Last and final thing I wanna talk about is this um, supplement that I actually take every single day. Can you see? I do not know how to pronounce it. No, acidophilus, so that's how you pronounce it, yeah. Acidophilus probiotic, and I actually take this every day. You only take one, and it actually has, um, it contains three billion active cultures, and it actually is a probiotic, so it helps, um, produce more of that good bacteria down there. So after I've been taking this like pretty much daily for the past three months, I see a decrease in my um, yeast infections dramatically. So this is something that you need to invest in. This is just the Kroger brand. I actually grab these on sale all the time at Kroger. So it's buy one, get one free. So I always buy another one just because it's buy one get one free and it's like seven bucks for one of them so you know you get four months worth for the two month price so i love that i believe everything that i talked about is it that i use on a monthly basis and even a daily basis um, make sure you're drinking water and cutting out certain things like sugary foods a lot of bread bread just turns into sugar so that is a big one and when i tell you i love bread i love bread love it i love bread don't be afraid to speak up if something is going on down there if you have friends they're going to you know talk to you about it if they're not yeah, super, ugh, girl, why are you talking to me about that? I don't know what's going on down there, but...
friends that I have close relationships with, they are fine with me talking to them about my vaginal health, their vaginal health, what works well with them, what products work well with them, what does not work, and what they're doing to help keep healthy down there. It's so, 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 so important for you to learn your body and what works well for you. Some things that I might talk about may not work well for your body. All I can do is come on here and share the knowledge that I have. Thank you so much for watching this video. My first video back, I'm feeling great. I'm ready to kill it. I'm ready to be back on this scene. I'm so glad I'm back on YouTube now. I am ready to create so much content for you guys. So if you love me like I love you guys, like, comment, subscribe to my channel and I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay, if you have any tips that you wanna share with me, comment below, I would love to hear it. I am willing to add so many things into my routine and I'm, and I, I'm ready to add so many more things into my, I'm so glad that I am able to share this stuff with you guys. All right guys, I will see you all later. No, but for real, I'm hot. I'm hot. But my lashes look good, though. All right, I'm done. I have to go eat. I'm hungry.